Maharashtra could become the first state in the country to make HIV testing compulsory before marriage. An all-party committee headed by the state health minister has suggested this and will now make a formal proposal. But today, divisions have emerged in the cabinet. It's of course a volatile debate and a tightrope walk. On the one hand, a violation of privacy and individual freedom. On the other, the risk of infection from a deadly disease from either your husband or wife-to-be. Yet another attempt to introduce mandatory testing for HIV for couples getting married. This time in Maharashtra. The controversial decision sparked off a debate in the country, once again with women's groups criticizing the move, calling it loaded against women. So far, India has been following guidelines laid down by the National AIDS Control Organization with stress on voluntary testing. But those who argue for compulsory testing say the decision is needed especially since a lot of women get infected by their husbands. So far. The debate around testing has been between right to privacy vis-a-vis -vis the right to life. But while HIV activists agree that it is a question of human rights and a critical issue that must be addressed, making HIV tests mandatory is not the solution. Look at all the kinds of marriages that take place here, all the kinds of customary marriages and so on. Are they going to get tested? Impossible. You're found out to be positive after a test. Is counselling going, going to happen to you post the test? Is anyone going to look after you or are you going to be just lynched and hung by a tree? So there are awful consequences of the coercive process. Now AIDS activists fear that such a move by the Maharashtra government will only drive HIV underground. And in a country where women have such little power of negotiation, a move like this may just be counterproductive and only make them even more vulnerable. In New Delhi, Priyanka Bhattacharya for NDTV.